Hello, Secretary Castro. Thanks so much for being here with us. Great to be with you. Thank uh, you for having me. Thanks so much. Well, I'm, I'm so excited to be here. You're one of the candidates who've talked about trans people a lot on the trail. And, and I'm wondering, first off, um, so I, I read that when you were the mayor of San Antonio, you were the first mayor to be the Grand Marshal of the Pride Parade. I've seen a picture of you standing in front of a Black Trans Lives Matter banner. Um, so you have some, uh, you've thought about trans people. Um, you're not new to trans people. What's been your evolution on that? Well, um, I think like a lot of Americans, you know, over the last few years, learning more and more, um, becoming more and more uh, sensitive to the fact that we have two million transgender individuals in the United States, and uh, oftentimes uh, they are treated as second-class citizens. Uh, and so, you know, as mayor of San Antonio, and then as secretary of housing and urban development, and now as candidate for president of the United States, I wanted to make sure that we do everything that we can to ensure that in this country, everybody counts, that we have no second-class citizens, that transgender individuals are treated every bit as much as uh, every other American. That's amazing. Um, one of my regrets over the last couple of years is I've never been able to personally thank you for the great work you did as Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Um, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know, it was, it was a real honor to serve President Obama as Secretary of HUD. Um, you know, one of the things that I wanted to make sure of at HUD was that we try and root out a lot of the discrimination that still exists in the housing market. And so we had a real focus on fair housing. One of the things that we did, as you know, was the transgender rule to make sure that if uh, a transgender individual um, seeks shelter at a publicly funded shelter, that they are accommodated, accommodated according to their preference. Uh, I was glad that we accomplished that. Uh, I was also happy that we made <clears throat> a strong push um, you know, certainly stronger than this administration uh, to make sure that we further desegregate uh, the United States. Uh, those are the kinds of things that I'm proud of that we did um, in addition to trying to address teen homelessness. And we know that uh, about 40% of teens out there who are homeless come from the LGBTQ community. I had a chance to visit Los Angeles, uh, and other communities to hear about some of the stories of young people who felt ostracized in their homes, uh, who ended up on the streets. And at HUD, we were focused on creating partnerships with the True Colors Fund and others to try and bring down that number of, of teens who are homeless, including from the LGBTQ community. That's great. Um, something that's been central to your campaign uh, and is, is, is I think the, the biggest crisis right now is the hateful crisis that the president has caused at the border. Um, at least two transgender people have died in detention, uh, Joanna Medina Leon and Roxana Hernandez. Um, this is a really important issue for trans people. So what can we expect from your administration? You're right. And uh, as you know, the federal government um, has created communities of transgender individuals at uh, two or three of these detention centers in the Southwest. Uh, we know that if there are individuals that are some of the most vulnerable, most likely to be the subject of, uh, of hate and violence, uh, and to be vulnerable to that, it's transgender individuals. And I've called for ending that kind of detention in our country. And, you know, in my administration, uh, we would not be detaining people the way that we are in this administration, whether they're adults or they're children. Now, if they're adults, if they've committed a serious crime and there's a reason, independent reason to detain them, of course we would. But that's not the vast majority of people who are seeking asylum or who have just crossed the border. So I want to end that kind of detention in our country, uh, beginning with these for-profit private prisons. Uh, and make sure that uh, in the meantime that transgender individuals are treated with respect and with dignity and that they're safe there. Okay. Secretary Castro, thank you so much for being here with us today and good luck on the campaign trail. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Thanks.